oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Thanks for coming back. This week we're going to be talking about market analysis. We're going to be discussing market drivers, intelligence gathering, target area, competition, the lay of the land, and property comps. Let's get started. Let's talk about our market and the drivers of these markets. There are fancy terms like macro and microeconomic theories. I don't know what that means. However, I do know I have my region, Western Pennsylvania. I have my city, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I have my communities. The region is held down by oil and gas, strong school, a great medical network, tech industry. All these things provide jobs. More jobs mean we need more housing. We move that into Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Concentration, that's the epicenter of all the things that are happening. The medicine, the schools, the oil and gas, all coming into this region. More houses, more jobs, more properties needed. Then we talk about our communities. I want our communities centrally located, close to city center, close to all these different things that people want to be near. Shopping, roads, which you lead to access points, close to the schools, close to the places to work, and close is the place to have fun. And that's why we choose our community, South Neighborhoods of Pittsburgh. How do you find this information about your neighborhoods? Let's talk about intel gathering. To start gathering information about your chosen market, the majority of what you need is right here in this computer. Start Googling. Start getting involved in Facebook groups, LinkedIn, Twitter, and start really diving in and learning and reading about your market. Other resources like local periodicals will tell you more about what's going on in your community. However, you can't learn everything from behind this computer screen. You have to get out and talk to people because closed mouths don't get fed on this boulevard. Get out there. Look into your local groups. For instance, in the Pittsburgh area, you have Acre and RIA and other groups that bring other like-minded investors together to share information and learn from one another. Most often investors will share information because they want you to help make this market better that you're about to invest into. Your competition in the area. You have to analyze who's in your market, who's buying real estate, and also who's not buying real estate. If you have a big competitor in the market, don't be discouraged. They might be your best friend. Big companies can't buy everything. We sit in a market that has millions of dollars of real estate and no one person can buy everything. They can be your best ally. However, once a market gets too hot, RE360 leaves that market and moves to the next one. We don't want over competition, but we do want some competition in order to fuel that market and allow that market to flourish under multiple investors putting a lot of dollars into one single market. That being said, we also are concerned with no one investing in a market. If you're the only person invested in that market, your market analysis may have been off and you may want to reconsider. For instance, RE360 spends about $7 million investing into South Pittsburgh neighborhoods. However, there are hundreds of millions of dollars of real estate. So even though we are a large competitor in these markets, there's more than enough room for equal sized competitors to come in and make a lot of money in the same markets that we're making money in. We're on the rooftop of RE360 World Headquarters, strategically located at the top of the South Side Slopes. One of RE360's strongholds is South Pittsburgh neighborhoods. We've always chosen to stay local and not get too big in our geographical area. Some investors want to buy every good deal. They buy in Wilmerding and the West End, and I don't understand why. One, no one knows where Wilmerding is. And two, you have to drive 30 minutes from one place to another. That's a lot of car time to unclog one tour. So if you're buying in a consolidated area, you're saving time in the car, and now you're at your properties milking the money out of them. The areas that we serve to the left, the south side and the south side slopes. We're standing on the cusp of Allentown. Behind us is Mount Washington, and right over the bluff is Beachview. All areas that we can get to within five to 10 minutes, max with traffic. All of our properties are there. That means less time driving and more time making money. We're here in Allentown, one of RE360's targeted areas. We're on the cusp of real estate growth in this area. Let me show you what I mean. Three blocks 
blocks away from where we just stood, and we, we just passed three properties that RE360 owns. We purchased those properties for between thirty and sixty thousand dollars, and now we currently have them rented to individuals paying between a thousand and twelve hundred dollars a month rent. However, the big ticket item is to our right. What you're seeing is a five hundred thousand dollar and up townhouse development on the corner of Bailey and Beltsuver Avenue. We're only blocks from where we just stood and we're picking up properties doors away for fifty to sixty thousand dollars. I think that's a good bet. The techniques we use to identify our target market are the same techniques that you can use to identify yours whether it's in Pittsburgh or all around the country. Once you identify your target market it's time to throw your hat in the ring and get started. Next week we're going to be talking about property analysis and cash flow analysis. I'll see you next week.